Hey everyone, it's Kendra and I am here with a little car tour for you. This tour is a little bit different than your average car tour because it's all packed up with goodies ready for a road trip. We are road tripping from Dallas to Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's about five to six hours for us, so not, a t not too long of a road trip. And I have some work to do out there. I'm gonna be photographing some cabins. In fact, we've been invited to come stay in some of the cabins that I'll be taking pictures of. So that's a lot of fun for us. Um, so I thought before we go and we hit the road, I would just kind of show you guys how we are packed for this trip. We road trip all the time. For those of you who don't know, I have a three-year-old and a two-year-old, and we love to go places that we can get there in our car. Um, the farthest we've road tripped is about 15 hours, so it's not too crazy bad, but with two toddlers, you know, it's a little bit interesting. We try really hard to not use electronics unless it's absolutely necessary, so I have to be pretty creative about how I pack activities and stuff for my boys. So keep in mind, again, this is a shorter road trip for us. It's only five hours and we're staying for four days. So what we would take on this trip is a little bit different than what we would take for our annual Colorado trip, which is about 10 days and a 14 to 15 hour drive for us. But nonetheless, I still thought I would show you. Let's go ahead and take a tour and I will show you what's in our road trip in van. All right, my hubby is always the one that packs all the stuff. I pack all the things, like I get the clothes and all of that stuff and then he's the one that like puts it all in the car. Um, whenever we are going somewhere that's not too far, when we can take our food, we like to. So this is our cooler. Inside we just have some eggs, some goodies, uh, fruit, some protein down there. When we are traveling, we cook pretty easy. We just do like a meat and vegetable, pretty simple stuff. Um, here this bag has all of our toiletries. I have a bunch of my camera lenses in here that I'm gonna need for our trip. And this is kind of the box of goodies. I wonder if I can pull it out and show you guys. Oh yeah, I think I can get to it. So this thing stays packed most of the year. And before each trip, whether it's a camping trip or a road trip, I just kind of go through it and make sure we have what we need, switch things out if we need to, take things out if we don't need those. But for the most part, all of this stuff is for our road trips. It's about there, um, right here is the bag of our spices. These are our most used spices. I have some ranch in there for the boys. They're just little Chick-fil-A packets that don't need to be refrigerated. And a little um, ketchup. We have juice some tissues this bag has um, our sunscreen our bug repellent we've got some flashlights over here for the boys some extra little towels some cups foil a lighter fruit snacks trash bags you know just kind of your typical run-of-the-mill stuff that you would need for traveling if you're camping or doing something like that there is some olive oil some hot tea and some napkins so this stays like I said packed pretty much all year and before each trip we just kind of revisit it I go through and switch things out if I need to and replace things if I need to as well this right here is a laundry basket as you can see and in there are all of our clothes for the whole family for the week so um, when we get ready I'll just take that out I'll set it in the room somewhere and it's organized so it's easy for me to get through um, all the pajamas are together all of my husband's clothes are together and my boys are together like my youngest one he is two he has an outfit with a diaper for every day of the week and then same for Weston he has an outfit with a pair of undies for the day of the week so those are all together our shoes are in there um, my oldest loves his little poo he goes on all of our road trips with us so that's his we packed a watermelon. This is pretty light for us. Usually this whole entire back seat is chock full of goodness. Um, but we're, we're doing pretty good packing this time. I bought this little game. It's supposed to rain a little bit while we're there, so I thought we could play that on the patio one day. <clears throat> for me, this is where all the work comes into play, is trying to think of things to entertain my kids with. So I have these little travel trays. They're soft, so they're comfy on their laps, but it creates a little flat surface for them so that they can put toys and whatnot. And I like the little lip around it so that it keeps things from falling out. I got this off Amazon, and I will link it below or on my blog post that goes along with this so that you can find one as well. I have this little busy book. Again, this one's from Amazon. Maybe I should just take this whole thing out. I'm sorry I'm sniffling. I'm getting over a cold a little bit. Um, this thing has been with us for the longest. My oldest is now four three, he's almost four three. He loved this when he was a baby, he loves to play it now, and now my little guy who's two loves it. You can still get at the store, I just saw it at Target the other day, I think it's like $19, but it has all these different little things you can place, um, and then you can do letters or music. 
my boys love that. So that's always a fun car thing. I pack some crayons, some little cards they can just rip up and destroy. This is a little coloring book activity thing that I got from Target. There's colors over here and blank paper here. That'll be fun for him. There's a felt a felt activity book here, again from Target. And then if you're road tripping or looking for summer activities for your kids, go to Dollar Tree. They are so awesome about putting out stuff that is great for those things. Especially this time of year around spring, summer, I guess they're getting ready for road trips or summer activities. And they just kind of release all of this awesome stuff. So this is a little um, activity scene. It's a street and then it comes with stickers. Um, a fun pack for the Ninja Turtle with the Ninja Turtles and then another playback of Ninja Turtles and then they have super cute stickers so I will get their stickers and um, get them in a little bag with some papers so that my boys can kind of pill and stick. It's just really something to keep their hands busy and I went ahead and took the backing off of this. So um, see this little blue line right here? That was all behind the stickers and then I just peeled that off leaving the stickers only so that it's easy for my boys to pick at them and um, get them off. And then I cut them into two separate pieces of paper so that's easy for them to manage um, whenever they're playing with and they don't have this big sheet of stickers. So each boy has that and then they got to pick out a new coloring book so that's there. I have colors packed as well. Again, this is kind of an easy um, activity box. I usually go a little bit more in depth whenever I pack for Colorado because we're in the road a lot longer. I just recently picked up these new boxes from Target and I like the size of it. I like that they weren't as tall as the ones I used to have um, when my littlest was a bit younger. I needed more actual toys so I had a taller box to kind of house that but I feel like this is a lot more sturdy and I like that it has a lid because one of the big keys is you have to keep it where they can't see it. So I only get this out whenever it's absolutely necessary and I don't want them knowing that it's filled with goodness because they will let me turn you around so I try to keep that hidden from them so they don't know all of the goodness that's inside because once they know what's in there that's what they're gonna think about and they're gonna want the coloring book and the stickers and this and that and it's just gonna they're gonna go through it so fast but if I keep it covered where they don't know what's in there I'm in control of it I can kind of give them things slowly as needed throughout the road trip but I only dig into that when things start going downhill. So I try to let them go as long as they can before I start digging into that. Now, before I know our road trips are coming up, I start to kind of keep my eyes open. I look for books, games, toys, things that will work out well in the car. I got really lucky and I not that long ago found some really awesome books at Goodwill. Y'all, you have to look up thrift stores for books. They have so many good books and they're cheap. If they get left somewhere, it's not the end of the road, end of the road, end of the world. And if they get ripped or spilled on, it's okay because you didn't pay like 20 bucks for the book you know kids books can be so expensive it's shocking to me so I found this one um, this will be fun for my two-year-old but my older guy will like it as well it's just a lift a flap but it's kind of cute that it's planes trains uh, cars and trucks so that's for him and then they don't see me pack these up so they have no idea what's inside I do it after they go to bed but they do know about this I let them get some toys and put them in a bag that they want to have during the road trip or even whenever we're at the cabin, they'll play with this stuff. Um, I got this for my little guy when we were traveling last year uh, and he was a little bit too young for it so I brought it this time so he could play with it in the car. We'll see how he likes it. All right, let's go over to Weston's side and I'll show you what's in his box. Okay, same tray for Weston. His is older because he's been a road trip and pro for a little while. Carson just got his tray, so his is new. And um, same stuff, same kind of box that Carson has. Same stuff for the most part. Um, he has an extra little felt book in here. Same little activity thing, a different kind of a play pack, more cards stickers and another playback so pretty much the same stuff this is like I said um, before I've always needed to pack toys for my little guy things that he could kind of fidget with to keep his hands busy this is the first time I've been able to pack um, crafts and stickers and whatnot for him and it kind of makes things a lot easier um, this is another book I found at a thrift store search and find things that go again kind of cool because it fits with the road trip and I've been holding on to these for a couple months I just put them away in the closet and waited until um, I could pull them out for a road trip. So this will be fun for him to kind of find this stuff in the picture. He'll be all about that. And when they get tired of it, they can switch. And then he picked, whoa, he picked out a bag of toys too. So that's over in front of his chair. And I let him get a new Hot Wheel at the store the other day. So that'll be something kind of fun and new for him that he's really looking forward to because I said that he cannot open it until we're actually driving. So put this back here. 
and that just fits all nicely down there. Okay, let me show you what I have in the front. So my hubby is usually the driver when we're road tripping. This bag is full of snacks. There's cups and straws and forks and knives. Um, there's some juice boxes in there. There's some napkins. Oh, these are little tissues, obviously. I got this little pack of, um, what are these called? Napkins. Napkins at Goodwill. And I just thought they'd be good for road trip. They're small and they would fit right there. So there's all of that stuff. Pretty simple. I have a trash bag that I keep here. Extra diapers over here. We have wipes because you always need wipes. And these are our cups. My hubby recently got these cups for us on our last road trip. And we love the junk out of them. They're so cool. He got them at Target. Here's why I like it. It has this little flap on it, so you can close that to kind of keep the mouth part clean. And then when you open it, it doesn't spill or leak. It has a little release button back here. This white button is a release button, and that's what opens this up so that you can drink from it. So whenever you're drinking, you just hold it like that and drink, and then you can close it back. So it keeps my kids from getting into it and spilling, and I like this little carrying thing. Before we had those big aluminum cups that everybody has now, you know, like the Arctic ones or what's the other really big brand that everybody likes? I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about. But they were just, they're big, you know, they're large, they're hard to carry, and um, I like this so much better. So we have those there. Um, over here in the door, I have a little pouch of change. This stays in my car all the time. It's not really just for road trips, but um, sometimes that kind of comes in handy. There's some extra cash and some um, hair ties in here. And then if all else fails and we need to pull out the tablet, this goes on the um, head rest and the, where, you know, where you're sitting. And it's a little rest for the tablet so that they can see it. But we only have one, so we shall see how that works out. Okay, and there you have it. There's our little road trip tour of the van. I'm going to go get Kent and the boys and tell them we're ready to go. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.